It's the Joe Padula Show, Clarksville's conversation. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah I think you're going to find it very intriguing, what I have to say, about Scoop Clarksville founder Jason Steen, who got arrested for theft. But I got to know why. I got to know why are the thousands of joyful reactions actually wrong? So wait until you hear my personal thoughts on it all. That's now on the Joe Padula Show. Absolutely. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, notification bell, click that like, leave your comments, definitely share this video now. That's the best way we can get over the shadow ban thing we got on us. So yeah, share it in your timelines and your groups. All right, let's go to the story. And here's the thing. Um, my history with this... Wait a minute, which story are we starting with? Scoop Clarksville. Okay. My history with it. Come on in, Ryan. Come on in. My history is very short-lived, but also negative at the same time. You know, because uh, back in, what was that, Bay? Uh, 2020. Yeah, a little what? over a year ago. Was it, was it 2019? That was in 2019. It might have been. You know what? It might have been. Because we was at the radio station. Yeah, you know? it was in the, the late 2019. Yeah. What's up, Ryan? How you doing? All right. I'm good. How are you? Glad you made it. Thank you. All right. So, uh, <laughs> so back in late 2019, uh, Leah Hewlin of Grumpy's Bail Bond, mm -hmm. she owns buildings downtown, and one of her buildings. She was like, Joe, so, Joe, hey, y'all. Very Southern. <laughs> and she's like, we got this, uh, this media coming into my building, and they're going to be broadcasting from our building. I go, that's awesome. That's great. The more the merrier. Let, let's love to meet. So we got in contact. She gave me a, his number, and I sent a message. Hey, how's it going? Blah, blah, blah. Come on the show. So I invited him on the show. Back at uh, we were back at that time on uh, 1055 1055 double. 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 <laughs> Grabbing Clausville by the home. Yeah. <laughs> Today's top country. It's like no new, new country. Yeah, new country. That's new country. what it was. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, recycle Usher song. Uh, okay. <laughs> my father was like, You're on a country station? <laughs> With new you, country. Yeah. I go, but dad, it's new country. Forget about it. <laughs> It didn't sound like country. Hey, it was Usher and Michael Jackson on recycled songs. So <laughs> the, uh, the thing is, so uh, Jason Steen, he came on, and we talked about Scoop, and, you know, he puts the stories out there and everything, and so on and so forth. Uh, we ended up, it was then in 2000, mm -hmm. you know, in March, pandemic hits, and we end up leaving that station, going on our own. And, uh, yeah, blase, blase. Now, during this time, I also help him set up his studio, uh -huh. right? You know, hey, you know, yeah, you're doing your thing. I'll, I'll give you a hand, man. No problem. It's, And I didn't do anything major. I just went in there, made some recommendations, suggestions, the whole bit. But then, pandemic hits, and I have this little makeshift studio in the back of Journey's Eye Studio. Mm -hmm. And... I'm interviewing Mayor Jim Durrett and Mayor Joe Pitts via Zoom. Mm. And we're talking about the pandemic and what's happening, the early stages. Like, we're talking March, April, around there. And so I'm asking questions. You know, hey, you know, what's going on, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Just putting out some pretty much command messages. All right. Hey, thanks for listening the whole bit. Mayors, thank you so much. We'll catch you next time on the flip side. Whatever. Absolutely. All right. I got a text message from Jason Steen. You coward. How dare you not ask them the tough questions? Shame on you. You're, you're, a, an, you're an embarrassment to journalism. What? I know. And I'm like, this is the guy that puts people's mug shots up. And takes them down for money. Yeah. First of all, I'd be like, who are you talking wow. to? <laughs> right. So I reply back, I, you know, and I go, hey, love you, brother. Because not for nothing, I love. That's what you said? Yeah. Hey, Thanks. love Thank you, brother. Thank you, for, thank, you for your, uh, thank you for your input or insight. Yeah. Right. So then he goes on his show and just, boom, starts tearing into not just the Joe Padula show, but the Joe Padula show and its people. Wow. He said something about me? <laughs> no, no. Oh I, I think because 
of your ethnicity that you don't get attacked. No, but, that's that's but, the least but, uh, <laughs> He don't have dirt on me. Um, it's hard to get dirt on me. He's a <laughs> so, but here's the thing: the the dirt was was lies. Yeah. And in his studio were people that are or were and still are regular guests of the Joe Padula show. You know, uh, County Commissioner Joshua Beal, uh, now City Council Member uh, Trisha Butler, who was his son a couple weeks ago. You know, and they're sitting there, and he's spouting out, hey, Joe's a loser, and and he's been fired from five-star. N- not true. The, uh, five-star is suing him. Not true. No. Right? He got fired for one of five, five. The, no. <laughs> like all we these know pla- what happened there. <laughs> oh, yes, we do, Coach. All these places left on my own cognizance because... Everywhere else, less talk, Joe. More music. Mm -hmm. Less talk, Joe. More music. How dare you? (laughs) Radio's dead, okay? (laughs) Talk radio's thriving. Go figure. But anyone can get their songs anywhere. But even through all of this, hey, love you, brother. You know? Take it easy. And then, you know, on I do these trivia events all through the week. And... uh, Every Tuesday is at Tennessee Valley Brewing Company. That's R-rated trivia. Don't bring the kids. Wednesday is uh, Chemo's, Kawhi Bar and Grill. And it's family friendly. Come on down. Thursdays is at Wicked Good Sandwiches. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. And, and that's what's great. These, these places are people want to get out and have a good time, especially during these times. So that's what I do. I create these events where people can come out and not go crazy in their houses. So anyway, one of these events I'm doing... And the trivia is over and everything. And I pose pictures with the people that, that win or attend. It's great. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> and I, I'm not a face mask person. You know what I mean? Whatever. Yeah. So I, I get crap about that. But then, because I took pictures with a lovely lady who I'm friends with <laughs> who was at trivia. Now, all of a sudden, I'm in this sex scandal yeah. <laughs> with, this, with this woman. <laughs> And that gets my picture that was taken. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Boom, they put it out there. Oh, that Did was... she complain or he created this? He created it. Right. <laughs> yeah, she got involved in some type of other story, and I got shoehorned into it. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Right. And even with that, you know, to myself, I go, hey, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me. <laughs> Why? Because I pray for the guy. Like, I literally, seriously, pray for the guy. You're a good man, Joe. It's, I've had this epiphany within the last year, (laughs) and it's because of my Savior, Jesus Christ. Either that or you're just getting older. Yeah, that's part of it, too. (laughs) That's probably it. Yeah, it's it's for $90 dates. Getting wise. But then yesterday, Mm -hmm. right when the show started, Okay, because we go live at 5 Central's time, depending. Sometimes it's a little later. <laughs> but uh, then my phone starts blowing up, blowing up, and people are just sending me screenshots. I must have got Jeez. over 40 to 50. That's scary. Of, that I, I know. I got 40 to 50 messages of, oh, no. of this picture right here. Okay? And it was the mugshot of Jason Steen. And I'm looking at it, and I'm sitting there, I'm going, okay. And the story reads, you know, that he gets arrested for theft. And in my head, I go, okay, you know, I understand there's this thing going on with his former employees where allegedly there's no payment to them, and they got a big problem, the whole bit. I go, it's all What good. business does he own? Yeah, I don't even know. Well, he... Uh, He's he owns Scoop Clarksville. Right, but you said employee, so who? Oh, he would employ the, the people of Scoop Clarksville. Okay. Oh. You know how you fools are in here for free? <laughs> okay. Oh, that's why we didn't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm, this I'm, is so I don't have problems. I'm, <laughs> I'm no fool. I'm just waiting. Wait, wait a when it comes to tax, I'm, I'm just waiting for you to a cash in. <laughs> it's I, need, I know. Trust it's me, coming. I know. You got your blue check oh, and every damn thing. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> So none the royalties like a mug oh. gonna be coming in. <laughs> so uh, according to the story, uh, Jason was moving out of his apartment and hired Alpha Moving and Storage to help him move his his stuff 
to a new residence. This was back in December. And uh, according to the, the charge, he did not pay the company for their services. And according to the court records, so uh, it's Steen is contending that he was overcharged through incorrect billing, Logics. so on and so forth. You okay. Know stuff ahead of time when you move. Right. <laughs> so. But then I started seeing all of the comments. Oh yes. Okay. And. <laughs> All of the memes, the stuff, people were making memes of this. Oh, it is a meme? Mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. no meme? <laughs> because, I mean, the history that, 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 that Jason Steen has created for himself here in the Queen City, which is a very small, big city. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're talking about the next census. You're going to see 250 people on that number. That's 250,000 people on that number. Oh. And uh, the role of Scoop Clarksville is what I compare to the, when you go to the supermarket, the grocery store, <laughs> and you're online, you see the National Choir, mm -hmm. and you see Princess Diana still alive. <laughs> sure, I look at the headline. That's JFK. Do you know what I mean? I go, oh, is she? Right. Junior. I don't buy it. I don't buy the National Choir or the Sun. I just move forward and I pay for my groceries. But you read the cover while you while You're wait. damn right I do. <laughs> I do too. You're damn right I do. So when you have sensationalism as your business, you're going to be upsetting a lot of people because <laughs> you're sensationalizing something that's normal and you're making it bigger than what it is. Clickbait. So mm -hmm. people well, got yeah. mad because they don't like him because he posts booking photos. Am I right? Yeah. Well, okay. After mm -hmm. he does his booking photo, what else is he doing? Then he, from what I understand, charges people and then he takes it down. Oh, see, I didn't know that. What? Yeah, that that's what I understand. So it's like they blackmailing. Hired, I could have so so me. this so this upsets a lot of people, right? Uh, What's up, Wes? How you doing, brother? So nonetheless, so I'm all of these comments and people are tagging me in them and sending me screenshots of comments and everything, <laughs> and I'm not responding. I'm not replying because first of all, I don't do the the whole social media arguing back and forth thing. Uh -huh. Okay, that's just not my style. To be honest with you, let, I should take down this picture here. You're not here. a keyboard warrior, Joe. No, I'm not a keyboard Neither warrior. I hate, Don't want to do it. But I'm watching the majority of it is uh, irony, what goes around comes around. Karma. Karma, all of this. And I'm like, no, th that's, that's the wrong response to this. First things first, it's you're innocent until proven guilty. So do we well, know? That's what it's don't ever forget to be. that. That's what it's supposed to be. I'm well, not saying he's honest. innocent. I'm not the judge <laughs> of jury. But do we know, but like, do we know his side of the story? That, uh, that's the thing. Well, he Why says. Why don't you invite him on for an interview? He says on this. Well, and, we know and, he was scamming people. And here's another thing too. Right? I find it very interesting. Like what we were just showing was the Clarksville now story. Mm -hmm. Clarksville now stopped putting up mug shots a long time ago, in case you haven't noticed. Yeah, I know. But they <laughs> decided to put a mug shop up for this one. <laughs> Dang. I think it's because, because, because it's a he, competitor. Yeah. Well, and I also think it's because he's, I think, famous in Clarksville. like Or, or infamous, if oh. you will. Yeah. He, you think for he competes with Clarksville reasons? now? I think that's totally no, too no, different. Yeah, no, but, right but, or wrong. But here's yeah. the thing. I've worked no, for Five Star. He would just dare the I, I, I know how Five Star is. Everyone is a competitor. I'm a still a competitor to them. Right now, but, somebody over there is going, no, he's not. But in their brain, because no. I've sat in all those meetings. If, you, if you're not with Five Star, you're against them. Yeah, that's, that, that's, that's the mentality. Is. Yeah, that is the mentality. Really? They've always been like Bay, that. did you work there too? That's I, amazing. I lived here all my life. True. <laughs> I didn't know that. So <laughs> nonetheless, so I'm reading and I'm reading and I'm reading. And, uh, and I have to stop reading all the comments about this guy who obviously doesn't like me or respects me. But you're reading the comments. <laughs> so he doesn't respect you because you don't ask the hard questions when you have the opportunity. Because to I didn't take his side. Yep, that's how people. Uh, he and I are on the different ends of the spectrum when it comes to uh, political beliefs, face mask beliefs, uh, the the whole bit, and that's fine. I'm very cordial and friendly. I have great friends that don't agree with me whatsoever. 
because chef's not at point at. We definitely don't agree on. <laughs> but let me tell friends. you. But 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 I I have love. I love yeah, you. I don't make it. It's not personal. <laughs> you know right, it's not personal. Yeah, exactly. It's not personal. So I'm getting these tags and I'm reading these, and I'm seeing the people's comments. My friends out there, it's not personal. Just let it go. It is not your job to be the karma police. Mm -hmm. It is not your job to take delight in the demise of others at any situation. Do you think it's like people are like, oh, payback, that, that, you hurt my friend, yeah. or payback. Mm -hmm. He owes the money, they're it, like. It, it yeah. definitely is. What, what? But as somebody that's been hurt, yeah. no, no, no. I've never been hurt because I didn't allow myself to get hurt. Sure. I, don't, I mean, I, I'm on the same page as you, but I don't think a lot of people see it that way. Right. Bang. <laughs> <laughs> drama. 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 I'm okay with people thinking me. Yeah. They don't think what they want. The drama. <laughs> if I do the yeah, crime, I'm going to do anyway, my time. You know? and, 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 you, and, and I get it because a lot of the comments were, oh, I wonder if Scoop is going to post this on their page or whatever. Right? These ain't even real crimes. Like, mm. <laughs> like <laughs> I know. I mean, it's, it's, so it's news in Clarksville, but <laughs> right. this is like calling the police because right. your dog is barking. Right. <laughs> exactly. But the whole thing that he's there is because of the moving company or is it a lot of different things? No, they, that's the charge. That's and, why and then, he's there for real. And then Clarksville now also went into other arrest records that he has and everything. So I'm not defending the guy. I'm well, just saying. I could see why they do because they're more of a journal. That is journalism for them. That's mm -hmm. Clarksville now would do it whether it was him, me, or you or anyone else, right? So I can see that. The comments are going to happen. That's because not exactly true. Uh, I've been with Five Star when people who worked at Five Star got arrested and did but, nothing. Oh, oh, no, they're not going to put their own people on blast. Yeah. Uh, they're but, not going to do that. Right. That's the, that's the good old boy system. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. they definitely got some good old boy stuff. <laughs> uh, I wish I had interned Shane on the comments <laughs> right now. Josh Wilkham checking in. Chris Early checking in. I, I'm sorry I can't see your, your comments at the moment. I, just keep posting them. I will get to them. <laughs> But my advice is pray for this guy. I know he got a heart transplant years ago or whatever. Pray for this man's heart. So was anybody like taken up for him at all on the comments or no? Not that I saw. Oh. Wow. Especially not his former employees. <laughs> well, all right. I didn't Does he have new employees? Yeah. Well, he does now. <laughs> Well, Just, my, my saying is, if you're going to work for somebody that's not paying you, that's your dumb fault. Yeah, yeah, that, that's a good point. But. <laughs> or you try to stick it out till you get that check, and that's what you're yeah. waiting for, you know, and then it never comes, you're so like, you're like... I'm not showing up till my check get, get there. Yeah. I've been there before. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and I look at it this way. If this guy could be so effective in a negative way, yeah. what if you were able to turn him? Just think how effective he could be in a good way. Well, that's your job, Joe. <laughs> yeah, you, you know what? <laughs> you're, that's what put on your heart, though. You should Ash, do it. You're absolutely right about that. Yeah. And that's why every time I got those nasty messages or nasty stories about me and the, the lies about yeah, me. Yeah, it was probably like a just, reaching out to Just you. always, hey, love you, brother. Since day one, you do you. And I'm going to do me. It sounds kinky. All right. <laughs> Yeah. All right, but let's move forward, all right? Let, let me know what you guys think. Allegedly. Allegedly, right, right. The base right, allegedly. <laughs> no, lower your wine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, let me know what so, you think. Maybe I'll, I'm way off. So I would say this. What's up, Coach? It doesn't seem like a big issue per se, but if you said that he was posting people's mug shots and then charging them to take it down. That's what I heard. Yeah, if, if, that, if you do that in any city, there's going to be a problem because people are like, oh, okay, so you're trying to finesse me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you make a mistake, those are not the people I would want to do yeah. that to, anyways. You know what I'm saying? They, like, they're gonna, they're gonna, to gonna you're gonna get what you're getting right now. But I would agree with you at some point in time, regardless what it is or who it is. It's gonna come back. If you all, if you, it's what two hundred twenty, two hundred twenty-two thousand, right? Currently, if two hundred twenty thousand people pile on one person, mm -hmm. it could go ugly. Yeah, you don't know how he's gonna respond. You don't know if he. I don't know nothing about him. Right. I, I'm, I've seen him around, but I don't know anything about him. But we do know the pressure of 220,000 people piling on one person could be ginormous, and it could cause people to do things they typically would not do. Right. I wish everybody nothing but the best. 
Well, we do have a comment. Yeah, from, what's that? From Jason. He oh, sa- what's up, says, Jason? He says, let's let's talk, Joe. Yeah. I got no issue with that, that, brother. Jason Steen? Are you there? I got really? no problem with that. See? Hey, how, how long Joe? it take to get here? Ryan. Yeah, hey, if you want to come on by, brother. Well, but we don't do the masks here. Just to give oh. you a heads up, brother. I just don't do it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't, I don't, I don't like the look. He don't do the mask. Jack can still wear your mask. I got yeah. in trouble today yeah. for it. I was so mad. Jason, I'll reach out to you, all right? Why? Because I love you, brother. No matter what. All right, let's move forward. Let's, uh, coming up. Oh, uh, wh- wh- which one do you oh, got on? No. Buffalo Bill. Oh, you know what? I thought it was a Confederate flag for a second. I was going to oh be. Oh, my I was gonna, Lord. I was like, stars and bars, Coach Chestnut. Oh, my God. The Buffalo Bills. Hey, you guys did all right this year. You guys did all right. Absolutely. We're going to Super Bowl next year. Seth. All right. I can't even tell when you're talking. Please. I can't either. I don't okay. like it. <laughs> please. <laughs> I do know sign language. Oh, yeah, please. All right. Do you want the first one? Don't give me the finger. <laughs> all right. Don't give me the finger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, you must make a lot of men happy with that sign language. <laughs> oh, my God. It's the Joe Padula Show. Bada bing. Clarksville's conversation.